Hey guys, so today I'm reacting to Mate Sama and okay, so the last reaction. <laughs> what the actual heck? Like it's just so interesting. This show, like it comes off as, you know, sweet and cute, but oh my gosh, there was almost like they were going really far with Igarashi. That guy, <laughs> there was a clip from the dub and that entire scene in dub, I'm sorry, but that was like the cringiest thing ever. I don't, I think it was Funimation that dubbed it. But Misaki was dubbed by Bulma, I think, and, and that voice just didn't fit her at all. Like, but there was the clip I watched over from episode nine because I was trying to figure out how to say the school Mia Bigaoka. That's what I'm gonna say. <laughs> and just Igarashi. Oh my gosh, that was so much. I think a really interesting editing choice they did, at least sound editing, was when he lifts her hand up and like kind of the Maid Sama OST, it just goes away. And whenever animes do that, I find that so interesting. But overall, that was a really dark episode. And oh man, every time I think I'm like, okay, like we'll do the kissing stuff. Like we'll get really close. But that was like flat out, he was gonna have his way with her. I'm like, I wasn't feeling that at all, that scene. <laughs> and now I feel like he's going to come back for more because he seems very interested in her. And then the band episode, which was just so cruel with her friend. And I felt so bad because that happens all the time when you're in like a friend group and if there's someone you like and they're just obviously showing more interest in someone else. It's just so much like, I don't wanna say cringe. It just makes you feel like, oh, this is so awkward, and then you feel bad, but yeah. Anyways, I'm really excited to continue on with Maid Sama, so, so let's see what weird thing's going to happen in today's episode. <laughs> Anyways, without further ado, let's go. Maid Sama. Have my Dofi pillow. It's just so comfy. This is really quiet. Oh, oh, what the struggle. <laughs> I hate that. Once I had a grocery bag rip on my way home and there's like all my vegetables and stuff just like on the road. Wait a second. Is this Misaki's mom? Oh, this, oh my gosh, this. <laughs> Oh my gosh, here we go. This could be so interesting. <laughs> I feel like you should put that together. Like, oh, she really looks like Misaki, you know? Ooh. Oh. <laughs> yes, this is great. <laughs> Oh man, <laughs> he's in the home. <laughs> he's meeting the family now. <laughs> so he fixed it, <laughs> oh my gosh. Usui's so cute. Oh man. <laughs> it's not like he was looking for her house, you know? <laughs> That is very serious. <laughs> oh 
Oh, man. Are they going to start like a rumor or something? That kid looks just like her. Oh, at least she's saying thank you. Gosh, <laughs> he says things so sexual. <laughs> oh my gosh. Can we like do a re like a reverse thing and let's find out about him because I'm curious. I want to find out more about him. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I wonder why she's like <laughs> She was full on going. <laughs> oh. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Oh no! Disguise kit? Oh, they're so cute. I hope they can actually follow him. Like, this is kind of wrong, but... <laughs> How does he not see that? That is so obvious. <laughs> He totally knows they're following him. There's just no way he doesn't. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, look at her blush. <laughs> Oh, he's gone. I mean, I guess it would make sense if, like, things that Misaki has that he doesn't have, he could be from a rich family that they don't really have, like, those family moments, you know? What? What? What is going on with him? Oh. He looks so dashing. He has a completely different life. Oh my gosh. Unless he's doing this on purpose. Ultra... Okay, I feel like he's trolling them right now. Ooh, fancy. But how are they gonna pay for this? Aw, her face got so sad when she said that. Oh, wow, what is going on? Oh! <gasps> That can't be a girlfriend. Oh, she's getting so sad about it. Oh. Is he just eating by himself? <laughs> Double glasses. Whoa. He was trolling them, wasn't he? What is going on? I feel like he's trolling them. <laughs> the heck is going on? He's doing so many random things. 
all in one day. I just want to know where he lives. <laughs> I feel like she's going to run into him. <gasps> oh! It's a kitty. Oh, oh my gosh! So cute. Ah! No, oh, such a cute little kitty. <laughs> I knew it. I'm like, there's no way he doesn't know. <laughs> so he definitely was doing that to troll them. Oh. No. <laughs> oh man. Gosh, he's taking the angry little kitty with him. That shows his heart. Follow him. Oh my gosh, I wanted to see where he lived, girl. No. <gasps> She has it. Is she gonna show up? That's kind of strange. Oh, he lives in a nice place. He has a kitty too. Does he live all by himself? Oh my gosh, he has a big place in the little kitty. Okay, oh man, I shouldn't have done that because I don't know if there's ever an end credits or anything. Is Sui saving the little kitty? I knew it. I'm like, those disguises were so obvious. There's no way that he just didn't know that they were following him. I'm so curious in the fact that she didn't want to go. I hope it's in this next episode we actually get to see it because she still had his address. Come on, girl. Asui is such a mysterious guy, but I feel like the mystery is what's really appealing about him, you know? Because it's like, what the heck? Like, what's this guy's deal? It almost looked like he lived by himself, but I mean, maybe he has a family and they were just asleep, but that place was huge. I feel so much tension, though, between Asui and Misaki. Like, I just want them to kiss or hurt to go on a date with him. That would be nice. Can we get a date, please? I mean, they already kissed. Why have they not gone on a date yet? I feel like Misaki is just very stubborn. Like, come on, let's go. <laughs> what did it say, kimono day? Oh boy. <laughs> oh! Holy! Oh my gosh! <laughs> Sports festival, oh boy. <laughs> That's exciting. I never wanted these things at our school. <laughs> Who prizes? Oh, the heck, a kiss? <laughs> What? Oh my gosh! <laughs> I can't believe that's a reward! Oh my gosh! Oh! <laughs> Aw, good protector. Oh, look at his hair up in a pony. It looks so cute. <laughs> Let's go, girl. 
<laughs> I love the determination on her face. <laughs> She's like ready to go. Oh, the fire is burning within her. <laughs> She's a monster. Whoa, she's winning a lot. Oh. Uh. Oh my gosh. Please have a Sui join. I want to see him and her like go at a race. Please. <laughs> Oh, she's doing it for the girls. Fan favorite, man. No. <laughs> oh, trembling. <laughs> She just like hopped that like it was nothing. <laughs> Please don't push her. I feel like he's gonna push her. <gasps> oh! oh, hell no. Oh, Asui, Asui, Asui. <gasps> the save, man. The save. <laughs> oh. Dude, push him. He was playing dirty. Oh, nice. And he won first. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Are they going to kiss? Oh, that was cute. Sweet. Sweet little friendship kiss. <laughs> oh my gosh. Would she want that though? I feel like she wouldn't want that. Oh my gosh. The dress. They're probably going to bring her the dress and she'll wear it. Aww. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Aww, she should probably tone it down a bit. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, he is. <laughs> so what if a guy got that costume? Maybe he'll switch with her. Oh my gosh, dude! <laughs> Oh, dude, he totally probably took the maid outfit, didn't he? <laughs> oh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, this. No, why are they being so mean? Oh. Oh my gosh. Oh 
Oh, look at her costume. Oh my gosh. <laughs> they have some cool costumes on. Aww. Aww, yay. That was so mean. I hate when people get, like, make fun of him for that. That's so dumb. Both of their costumes look so cool. Gosh, that, like, hurt my soul. Making a change. Aww. Oh. <laughs> she passed the test. Oh gosh, it's Sui and Misaki. So cute. Hey, at least his maid outfit though was longer. Like it could have been a really like short maid outfit. That would have looked so much worse. Okay, with Yukimura, that was so sad. Like. He was so excited that this was like the first time he can participate in this race because like the non-athletic students normally participate in this costume race, but everyone's in like silly costumes. And then when he comes out in like a maid outfit, they were just making fun of him. So I'm so glad Misaki and Usui, they came out there and they're like really cool costumes. Honestly, that would be fun. Like the whole weird, I don't even know what kind of costumes everyone had before, but I see the point though, how people wouldn't take like the race itself serious, but just imagine like having really awesome, cool cosplay costumes that you can put on and then run in the race. I think that would be awesome. But oh my heart, that was so sweet. Again, these moments that those two have. But I feel like it's never going farther. I feel like their feelings are kind of at like a halt right now. Like, I just want them to kiss again or go on a date, come on. This is like every one of these, except Normally, you don't get the kiss until the very end. So I'm still shocked. I think it was like episode six where they actually kissed that that happened. But now I want more. <laughs> Good old maid Sama though, Asui. Still saying really perverted things though. Like really perverted. <laughs> I'm still so curious. Like this kid acts so weird and something's up with his home life. I feel like maybe he had a really sad, really bad home life that maybe we'll find out later on. But I'm so curious, like episode 11 made me really wanna know more about him. Like we know a lot about Misaki already, but I wanna know about him. Maybe we'll get that. I hope we do at least. But thank you guys so much for checking out this Made Summer reaction. If you liked this video, give it a like. Make sure to subscribe to my channel for more awesome Made Summer content and other anime things. And as always, I hope you all have a wonderful day. Stay fresh, bye.